we have a new feature that shows you how WooCommerce orders are tracked by Pixel Your Site. You have it right here in this column and uh, you can see tag or API not tracked, which is a problem. I explained it right away and uh, advanced purchase tracking, which means the problems was kindly fixed, but not really. So uh, in order to have this data, you need to enable it here. Uh, I'm inside Pixel Your Site Professional WooCommerce page and we have this new option right here. Make sure it's on. If it's off, turn it on and scroll safe. Once you do so, you will have the data here, here, I mean here, and also when you edit a page uh, is right here together with all the information with add to orders. So now what does it mean? If you see tag or API, it's fine. It means that default purchase event was sent to both tags and APIs if they are installed. This is the default behavior. If you see not tracked, it means that the order did not fire for some reason the default purchase event or checkout event for Pinterest. They use a different name for some reason. And TikTok uses something else like payment completed. But I will uh, call the event purchase because it's easier like this. Uh, if you see advanced purchase tracking, it means that the order didn't fire the event originally when it was placed by the client, but because you have this option here, again, I'm on the WooCommerce page inside the plugin on advanced purchase tracking, we managed to send the event uh, using API. It's not the best solution, but it's still a, a backup um, solution if the event was not fired initially. It might help, but ideally you should have the default event fired when the order is placed by the client. This is where uh, we can track most of the data. Now, why this happens, not tracked? I'll try to explain the most common reasons. The most, the number one reason is that you have a custom thank you page that we cannot understand is there. So the first thing I recommend to do is to add the custom checkout page ID here in this field and then save settings. How to get the ID, edit the page and from the URL, you'll see something like ID, take it from there and add it here. Now, make a test, place an order on your website and check if number one, everything works correctly because sometimes we can have conflicts with other plugins that declare the ID um, and check if the purchase event starts to fire. If everything is good, you're done. You don't have to do anything else. If not, the alternative solution is to use our super pack here. The super pack, it's a, an add-on that adds extra functionalities to Pixel Shop, the other site professional. It comes with advanced and agency licenses and any bundle deal. So if you have the super pack, install it, go here and uh, enable custom thank you pages for WooCommerce, turn this on, add the custom URL and save. The plugin will start to uh, resend, uh, re redirect um, uh, or, uh, customers to this page when the order is completed and events will fire correctly. Important, make sure that you don't have another plugin or another custom script doing the same thing. So uh, redirecting user to this URL because you can have conflicts. Uh, you can also have uh, a custom thank you page for individual products and only people that bought that product will um, visit, will be directed to this custom, to that custom thank you page. So edit the product, look here on the right column and you will see our options there. Um, so this would be the solution. Another reason for um, the purchase event not uh, working um, is related to purchase settings. So I'm again on the WooCommerce page Right here, we have the purchase event settings. It looks like this, click to expand. Now make sure that uh, most order statuses are uh, checked. The status that matters is the status of the order when the client makes the purchase. So if they place an order and uh, the order is uh, under processing status, it has processing, and this is unchecked, we, we will not fire the event. So make sure 
most orders are checked or the statuses are checked uh, maybe a refund failed uh, cancelled they don't matter but all the others should be checked another thing we have these options that maybe can exclude some purchases and sometimes i notice a conflict with usually payment plug plugins um, if this option fire event for transaction only it's turned on uh, there's a problem and the order order is not fired so if nothing else works uncheck this and uh, save do again a test and everything should work i mean these are the most common problems for um, the purchase event not working correctly now um, we add this data the uh, tracking type with our chat gpt file reports woocommerce reports we have this export button here upload the file to chat gpt and start to ask any questions that you want about your woocommerce uh, data for example show me the numbers about the tracking type very simple question and chat gpt shows me the numbers uh, on this channel i have another video explaining how you can use this uh, chat gpt functionality i encourage you to watch it next uh, i'm christian stoichesko from pixel your site like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.